My name is Kobe. I'm going to be telling you about the time I found out I had a peanut allergy. It was a normal day when I began to feel a little bit weird. My stomach side hurt, but I thought nothing of it. When I went to bed, my stomach hurt again. Oh, I just need some medicine. I'll be fine. But the pain hurt so bad, I felt like I was going to throw up. I told my parents in the other room. They said, just drink some water. Around 3 a.m., I woke up with the worst pain I've ever felt. It hurt so bad, I went to the bathroom and I vomited. It was not good at all, and I felt so sick. At first, I told my parents that I would be fine. I was just consuming too much grease. But after I went on the diet, it hurt even more. Taken to knowledge, it was spring break, and I was trying to have fun. My parents' second guess was, oh, I have a stomach bug. But it wasn't that, it was way worse. When I was little, I had taken an allergy test. They had put needles in my back. I was like the cats in pollen and a lot of different flowers. But when they had checked food, my peanut allergy had not come up. So we went on a day. I didn't have peanut allergy. Well, I did take them to knowledge. I was only eight at the time. I was still so young, so I only found this out when I was eight, like I said. We had gone to the doctor, and the doctor said she must have a peanut allergy because nothing else will come up. But it was weird. The EpiPen was weird to pick up because we had a call to a different places to finally pick it up. We picked it up at our local pharmacy store that night. I cried so much and my eyes were so puffy in the morning I thought I was going to die. Luckily, I was just being too dramatic. I have one of the more lucky cases that the stomach bug I had, yeah, that was the peanut allergy kicking in I guess. I was eating too many items that can add sesame oil and peanuts. I know it's a happy life without worrying about my peanut allergy. I just got to make sure none of the food I eat has that.